In this video, I'm going to do an unboxing of a Dell laptop I picked up from eBay for about $130. It's a Core 2 Duo device, clocked at 2.2 GHz per core with 2 gigs of RAM. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use it for my Ubuntu Linux experiment. I'm actually going to live within Ubuntu for one month. So let's get to it. So I've always wanted to try Ubuntu Linux and use it as my daily driver, and I have dual booted it on machines in the past. But when I have a dual boot situation, I end up basically always using the main operating system on it and never really using Linux. So I thought, well, if I had just a laptop device with only Ubuntu on it, I'd have no choice but to use Ubuntu on it. Now, if you hear a buzzing noise, that's actually my refrigerator in the background. I'm doing this in the kitchen. Even though this is a laptop, this is a very large box. Now, this Dell is a Dell Latitude 630, and you can pick these up fairly cheap on eBay. And being a Core 2 Duo device at 2.2 GHz per core, it's a fairly capable device and should run Linux no problem. So, in this video, I'm going to do the unboxing, but I'm going to check back with you every week and give you an update on how Linux is working for me and what works and what doesn't work and if I'm ever forced to go back to Windows to do certain tasks. So let's get to the unboxing and then you can follow me in this series of videos to see how it's going to work out for me. Now this was from a business reclaiming service so as you can see it's packaged very nicely here and hopefully my cat doesn't get too close even though this is a dull knife, I don't want them getting cut or hurt. But um, I assume there's just going to be a lot of uh, styrofoam popcorn in this box here. It's a 14-inch laptop, so it's not going to be that big, even though it is an older laptop. It's packaged very nicely. So let's dig in here and pull out the laptop. I'm going to refill it here. I just don't want to make a mess, especially with my cat. He'll love these things. But they won't love him if he eats them. So here we go. Here's the laptop itself, as you can see. 14-inch laptop. Not very big. in bubble wrap here and it's got the adapter there. Let me just dig in here and see if there's anything else in the box. Okay, nothing else in here. As you can see with the styrofoam popcorn only in this box, you can hardly tell that anything was even in here. So let me put this to the side and let's get to the main event. So I gotta get my cutter out here again, and we're gonna cut some tape off of this. It's packaged very nicely, as you can see, especially with the styrofoam. And let's get this unwrapped here. And it's in the bag. Let's pull out the adapter here. Now, I don't know how good the battery is going to be on this device. I know it said that uh, it still holds a charge, so that's good, but I don't know how long it's going to hold a charge for. Uh, you can purchase OEM batteries on eBay, um, and they're fairly inexpensive. I think I saw one on there for 20 bucks or something. But here's the wall adapter, the power adapter, and uh, of course I'll be using that. And here is the laptop itself. 
So here's the laptop. As you can see, there are some, you know, scratches on it. It is a used laptop. I did get it for $130 shipped. So I think that was a really good deal because you get a computer with a screen and, uh, you know, a battery and uh, there is no operating system on this at this time. So I think it has a Windows COA on it. And I just checked and it's Windows XP Professional. I will not be putting that on that. Again, the whole purpose of this video and the whole purpose of this series of videos is to live within Ubuntu. But you have your Dell branding up top. It's made out of a plastic. It's a silver color here. And uh, on the back of the device here, you have your ethernet jack, your modem cord, two USB 2.0s. Here's the VGA out port, so you can attach it to another monitor. This is a serial port, which I probably won't be using because this is an older device, so it is equipped with it. Then you have your power port here, and you have some venting back here. On the left side of the device, you have your Kensington lock, you have your mic and headphone jack. Now down here is a smart card slot. I won't be using it, but this device is equipped with it. Here's a firewire port. You have your Wi-Fi switch, so you can turn your Wi-Fi switch on and off. Here's the PC card slot, which allows you to expand this device. And if you're not familiar with PC card slots, they allow you to give different ports to this device. So you could actually add an Ethernet port, or you could add wireless to this device. There are a variety of different things you could use a PCI card slot for. They're not really on any modern laptops anymore. On the front, you have your latch. So this will enable you to open and close a laptop. Older laptops used to have that. You also have a little venting up here. On the right side of the device, you have two more USB ports, and then you have your DVD RW drive here. On the bottom of the device, you have your battery here, and you can actually press this here, and it'll tell you, it has a gauge here, it'll tell you how much power you have left in your battery and it looks like this one is tapped out, so I'm gonna to have to charge it. Now here is an interesting expansion port where you can actually put this device into a dock. And I actually have purchased the dock for $25, and it enables you to use that dock to replicate the ports on the back. So you would have that dock connected to a monitor at your station, and then you can pull this out as the brains and take this on the road and do what you need to do with it and then bring it back and you can actually use the power button on that dock instead of even opening this up to power it up. So it allows you to have a mobile device here and a workstation when you get back to your desk so you have pretty much you know monitor space so if this is a 14 inch monitor you can put it on a larger monitor and that's one of the reasons I went with this device as well. So let's open this up so you can see what's on the inside here. Obviously it's going to be a screen and a keyboard. And let's see how far back this opens up. This will open up all the way back, as you can see. And it is a matte screen, as most screens used to be until recent years. There is no webcam on this device. You have your latch here that latches into here that locks down the device. Again, your matte screen, 14 inches. You have your Dell branding here. You have your full QWERTY keyboard. And you have this little nub here, which the first time I ever saw it was on an IBM ThinkPad before Lenovo took over the brand. And basically, it's just a way to control your mouse on your screen. I prefer a touchpad. Now, if you're gonna be using that, you have two mouse buttons here. Or if you use your touchpad, you have those same two mouse buttons down here. So you actually have four mouse buttons, but they're basically replicated. Up top here, you have some indicator lights. You have your volume controls, down, up, and mute. And then you have your power button. Now, it's all made of pretty much plastic, but it's a very sturdy device. More sturdy than any laptop I've had in recent years. Very solidly built, and it weighs about five pounds. I think it's a little over five pounds. You have what looks like Probably a speaker here, it might be a vent, I don't know. And, uh, you know, older laptop, small trackpad here, but I think it's gonna be a very capable device. So in my next video, I'm going to unbox the dock that you can plug this device into, and I'll spare you a video on loading up Ubuntu on this device. I think I've made enough videos on how to load Ubuntu on a device. But uh, the next time you see this, I will have Ubuntu loaded up on it, and I'll let you know if it was easy, 
or if there were any problems, if I had to work through any driver situations and whatnot. Now this device has Wi-Fi on it. As I said, it has a Wi-Fi switch on the side. But I think it's only B and G. I don't think it's N wireless, and N wireless is what I have in my house, and it's much faster. So I did actually order a wireless dongle, a little nub that you can plug into um, a USB port, and that will give you your Wi-Fi signal. And I made sure that that nub was compatible with Linux. So I'll actually do an unboxing on that in this series of videos as well. So that pretty much does it for this video. If you have any questions or comments, please post them down below. If you like what you see, please subscribe. And as always, if you want to help out my channel, give me a thumbs up or favorite this video. So that's it for now. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.